Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I hope that wherever you are, you and your family are keeping safe. I hope you're washing your hands, sanitizing whenever you're outside the house, disinfecting surfaces. And I hope that wherever you are, as often as you're doing these things, you are taking the time to pray. My name is Brian Moshigadi from Deliverance Church International, Kasarani Zimmerman. I'd like to remind you some words from Jesus in the book of John chapter 14. This is Jesus speaking to the disciples from verse 15 all the way down, giving the promise of the Holy Spirit. He says to them in verse 16, and I will pray to the Father and he will send another helper, the Holy Spirit, talking about the Holy Spirit. And then much later in verse 18, he says that I shall not leave you as orphans. Now, I don't know about you, but in these unique, interesting times, it's very easy to feel alone. It's very easy to feel anxious and full of fear and be afraid and you know there's the uncertainty of the days to come and so many other things that could go wrong that some things already are going wrong but even right now we remember the precious promise of our lord and savior jesus christ he says to us i shall not leave you as orphans i shall come to you he says i shall pray to the father and he prayed to the father and the holy spirit has been released he's available for you and me Jesus again says, if you that are wicked people know how to give good gifts to your children when they ask how much more shall my father, the good father, not give us all things, even the Holy Spirit, when we ask. So here's from me to you. Take some time, open your heart, lift your hands in prayer and cry out to God. Say, Lord, please give me your Holy Spirit because he is available. In this time of social distancing where everyone is keeping away, I remind you of this one person that will not keep away. The Holy Spirit is not taking some time to create some distance between you and Him. He is inside every believer, if only you ask. He is able to lead us into all truth. He is able to comfort us in difficult times. He is able to give us peace. He is able to minister to us deeper than anything or anyone ever could. So be encouraged. Let peace flood your heart and peace flood your home. The Holy Spirit is available. The Comforter has come. He is among us and He is willing and ready to help. God bless you. We are praying for you and we hope to be seeing you really soon.